Okay guys, we got a 2009 Versa here. We're doing a front strut mount. Um, it's actually called a torque, torque strut mount. And it's on the passenger side of the vehicle. Here's the car on this side. You're gonna use an 18 millimeter, and this is really quick and easy. When you inspect it, look down in there, see the crack? That's the vibration you're gonna get going down the road right there. So we're gonna change this. If you need the part number, it is 9422. Or you can call in the EM 9422. So, 18 millimeter, and all we're gonna do, we've cracked this one loose already, and that one. And this has no bearing on the engine. It's mainly for absorption. So you don't have to worry about it, uh, jacking it up, supporting it, bracing it, or anything. You're gonna pull that bolt. You're gonna pull this bolt. Again, bolt 18 millimeter. And then it just comes right out of its home, just like that. And the new one goes right back in. Just like that, and we'll snug that down. Now, how tight do you get this? Tight. This needs to be about 200 pounds. I don't know the torque specs on it, but when we took it off, it was a little over 200 pounds. I'd say 180, 220, somewhere in there. What we're going to do is get it as tight as we can with a wrench, and then you've seen me double lock wrenches before. If you haven't seen it, let me show you that. That's pretty tight there, and then we're going to grab a wrench. We're going to double lock it just like that, and we're going to give it another quarter turn. That's how tight you want it right there. That'll take care of it. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like down there. Please click subscribe. That helps me out so much. And click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. If you need it, we're going to do front brakes, we're going to do rear brakes, we're going to do a few other things to this car. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy.